What's going on everybody? We have a super special build today. This is a really, really good one. I'm very excited for it. I think you guys will be very excited about it too. This is one of our first all original bikes. Everything original as possible from the late 70s, early 80s. This is a 1979 PK Ripper. All aluminum and painted by C4 Lab. Very, very lightweight. Really good looking. These are very rare, uncracked, very beautiful, and a really cool paint job. From there, we have a 1979 Skyway Tough Fork. And this came on early SE bikes. The landing gear fork was introduced in late 1981. So this is prior to the SE landing fork made by Skyway. From there, we have first generation Skyway graphite tough wheels and they have the Skyway logo over here in gold. A Tange Meritor Pro MX headset. This is from 1979. We have a 1980 Toughneck one inch stem. 2000 of these made in the year 1980. 1979 SE Pro bar with the decal. Super light also. Cycle Pro Snake Belly tires. Greg Hill tires. Brand new with the skin wall. The logo is right over there. 1979 SE seat post. All original. 1979 Excalibur seat post. Brand wow. new in package. This is a 1982 Cashy Max Aero seat in the suede with the correct seat guts. Some etching over there. 1982 Gold MX Diacom brakes with a 1982 etched in right over there. This is an SC handbrake lever from 1979, still in package. Pretty cool uh, writing on there, that, on the back as well. It says, thanks for joining our team. Welcome to the home of pro pedal pusher Stu Thompson, Jeff Botema, Harry Kramer, Greg Hill, and the host of other factory fast cats. Good luck in racing and remember, get gnarly. Charlie Gnarly, that's pretty sweet. 1982 Diacomp brake cable, stamped 1982. 1980, 1981 bullseye bottom bracket, sealed bearings. 1980 Campagnolo Strata cranks with dust caps, 170 millimeter. These are gold Skyway bear trap pedals. One of the lightest pedals ever made. This is a really cool one. This is an Acme BMX chain, made in the USA in Massachusetts. We also have some Diet Comp brake pads and some Amy Tri Grips. This is gonna be an awesome one. Let's get to the build, stay tuned.
up everybody? We finished this beautiful PK Ripper from 1979. This is a pre-serial number frame. This is one of our best ones for sure. We're really happy to build this one up for you. So I'll go through some of the parts with you. These are the Skyway Tough Forks. They came on early SE bikes. The landing gear fork was introduced in 1981 and this was before that. First generation Skyway Tough Wheels from 1981. This is a Tanch headset over here. It's called the Tanch Meritor Pro MX sealed headset. A gold tough neck stem, 2000 made in the year 1980. Just hiding under this SE pad set. We have the SE Pro bars from 1979. These are the Cycle Pro snake belly tires brand new and then we have an SC seat post from 1979 an Excalibur seat post clamp from 1979 a 1982 Cashamax suede seat with the correct guts from that era 1982 gold Diacomp MX brakes on the back with these Diacomp brake pads this is an SE lever Made by Shimano. Diacomp yellow brake cable from 1982, stamped. A bullseye sealed bottom bracket. And these are gold Campagnolo cranks from 1980, 170 millimeter. The Campagnolo 45 tooth chain wheel, that's from 1980. We have a made in the USA Acme chain. This chain was made in Massachusetts. We have a Shimano freewheel on the back. Baby blue Amy tri grips. And we have this SE pad set from 1979. So I hope you enjoyed this PK Ripper build. Comment below what you think about it. And I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you guys soon. Thanks.